Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge of Tips for Travelers. I have something very exciting for you. It's a river cruise boat called the MS Serenade, and they have a feature which is completely unique across river cruising in Europe. Every single cabin has this unique feature, and I'm gonna take you through all of the cabin types, and you're gonna find out what that unique feature is. So the MS Serenade has 68 cabins and has two suites. I was staying in the Chopin Superior. So here we are inside the cabin, and as you can see, it's a pretty big cabin. Now, often on river cruise ships, they're quite small. You know, the space is very limited on a river cruise ship. However, on this ship, the cabins are pretty big. They feel pretty spacious. You've got two beds, which are twin beds, pushed together so you can either have it sort of effectively as a double, or of course, it can be reconfigured so it's two twin beds. Across over there, you can see there's two chairs and a table, and behind that is a Juliet balcony. So there's pretty good storage space. And again, storage space is normally at a big premium on river cruise boats. Not only do you have the cupboard space, but also the beds are high enough to put things like suitcases underneath. Now, one of the things that I really like is it has a safe. Now, a lot of river cruise boats that I've been on have not had safes, and I do like having a safe. Because the ship is designed very much for the UK consumer, it has tea and coffee making facilities. It also has a mini bar, which actually at the moment is not filled up, but normally on a normal cruise, it will have wine, beer, soft drinks, and you pay for those. Um, also what's complimentary is a bottle of water which is refreshed every day. One of the strange things in this cabin is it has a tiny television. I mean, it's a big spacious cabin, but it has this tiny little television. It has mostly news channels. Now let's go take a look at the bathroom. Now this bathroom is slightly larger than many of the other similar cabins because this is the one accessible cabin on board the uh, ship because it has a wet room with the shower. It has a uh, very nice basin, quite a trendy looking basin. But the thing that I absolutely love and the thing that I was referring to is that the bathrooms are big enough in every single cabin to have a bath. I really love the ability to have a bath. It's great, you know, sailing down the river, being able to relax in the bath. In terms of the decor style, it does have a fairly traditional style. It's not particularly glitzy or modern or contemporary. You know, one of the, my concerns before I came on the ship is that it would be a little bit too old fashioned for me. But actually I quite like it. It's very comfortable. It's quite bright and light. So the Mozart Superior Cabin, as you can see, is very similar to the Chopin Superior. The only key difference is really, it's on a different level, it's on a lower level, but it still has all the same features. The bathroom has a enclosed shower. So you can see the bathrooms are slightly smaller than the one I showed you before. And remember that I had a accessible cabin. So across all of the other cabins on board the ship, the bathrooms are this size. Now the Beethoven Superior has again a very similar structure. The only key difference is the windows. So the windows are those small windows which are just above the waterline. And so it's a slightly darker cabin, but you can see the layout's basically the same, the bathrooms are the same, and pretty much the size is the same. Now let's go take a look at the suites. So the suites are pretty magnificent. They're bigger than all of the other cabins. They're right at the rear of the ship. There are only two of them. They have uh, separate balconies and they have a great bathroom again featuring baths, but the bathroom is bigger than the other bathrooms on board the ship, and it's a very beautiful uh, cabin. So there you have it. That are all of the cabin types on board Titan's MS Serenade 1. You have three different types of cabins and some suites as well. Remember, there is only one accessible cabin, which is the one I was staying in, which is 326. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, you found it helpful. I'd love it if you left a comment, but more importantly, if you like the video, and please subscribe to Tips for Travelers YouTube channel.